Hello, this is Mike, no stress Mike.com. And uh, I got interrupted uh, making that video on the motorcycle. Talked about the motorcycle, but I wanted to tell you uh, what's uh, a funny thing happened. And um, uh, I'm in Topeka, Kansas, and um, uh, I went to the dentist. And um, what you do when on dentist um, what normally happens when I go to the dentist you you go in there they, you sit down they take a look and, and then they tell you what's wrong and they tell you what they're going to do and then they tell you how much it's going to be and then I get the doctor and I ask the doctor if he does gold and silver and uh, I never found one that doesn't uh, doctors uh, Dennis, lawyers, they all do gold and silver. And, um, uh, but this one was different. So I went in there, I filled out all their papers and all this kind of stuff. And um, then uh, the receptionist lady says, uh, uh, she, she gave me a list and says, okay, uh, this is what we do. We're going to do x rays, uh, we're going to clean your teeth, uh, we're going to do this and this and this. And uh, it was three hundred and ninety-five dollars or something. This three hundred ninety-five, and they haven't started to work on me yet. <laughs> so it was funny, and so I was kind of, you know, like, now how am I going to say this? Because you can't talk to them. And uh, and a, a good example was I went on and talked to them, and uh, because it was so funny, uh, because. She, you know, I said, well, you know, um, I'd kind of like the dentist to look at me and see what the problem is, and then we can talk all this other kind of stuff. And uh, she said, well, we do all this stuff. And then I said, well, I don't do this stuff, and uh, I pay with gold and silver. Man, she just, oh, you know, you know, and, you know, she didn't know. I had to repeat it and repeat it. Finally, I opened up my bag and I started to op open up some gold and silver and dumping it out. And she goes, well, the doctor doesn't know how much it's even worth. And so I said, yeah, the doctor knows. And um, but she said, no, we just, you can use a credit card or you can use cash. And, you know, and I said, no. I, don't think so and you know and no problem and I gave her one of those those hundred dollar bills gold hundred dollar bills that I had I gave her one of those and I said well you know here now now you have some gold so now you can start thinking gold and silver and appreciate it when I left and uh, uh, it was it, uh, and I went through the same thing when I was buying a motorcycle I found a motorcycle in Kansas City, and I asked them, uh, well, you know, who's the owner of this place? And they said, well, this is a franchise. And I said, oh, okay, so the franchise is just because there's no owner. Hell, I don't know. And then, uh, uh, so we went through all the stuff, and uh, we, we couldn't figure out something on the motorcycle. And then... Uh, He's doing the guy says, well, why did you want to know the owner? And I said, well, I use gold and silver. And, uh, you know, would you take gold and silver? And, you know, of course, the salesman's an idiot. You know, he's not going to take no gold and silver. He doesn't even know what it's worth. He don't know nothing about it. And, uh, and that's why I want to do the owner. Because if the owner, is a, if the business is successful and he's doing really good, he will take gold and silver. And when you're using gold and silver, you don't have to pay whatever the sticker price is. That's, you negotiate because you have property, he has property, and then you figure out what you're going to do. So uh, that was it. And so I left, and then uh, I found another motorcycle, and that was the one in Iowa. And so then, uh, so that's all I no problem. And then the owner of the place 
called me. I guess there was an owner. Somebody owns the franchise. And uh, I guess the salesman told the owner, you know, that, well, the idiot wants to buy gold and silver. So he said, what's the idiot's name? <laughs> so then he called me. And I told him, I'm, I'm too late. I already got one. So. But uh, uh, you, when you're doing gold and silver, you really have to deal with the owner. That's that's the one, the one that's in charge of everything, and uh, then you can work out something. Um, now I give uh, gold and silver away, and they're not always owners and stuff. But and I tell them how to use it and stuff like that because I try to, you know, help people. So maybe they won't be so stupid. You know, maybe they'll start thinking. You know, how, how could you not know anything about gold and silver? You should know something, you know, and uh, it's just it's just amazing to me. But uh, anyway, um, the, so the gold and silver thing, I do use it. And uh, that's why uh, what I wanted to do was start a business and, on pancakes. I was just going to sell pancakes just on Saturday, Saturday morning pancakes, and uh, it would be for uh, a dime, you know, silver dime, you know, to, to help people understand what, you know, okay, there's a lot of preppers have gold and silver, but they don't know how to use it, <laughs> so then I'm trying to help, help everybody learn how to use it, and uh, uh, so... It's something you need to know. Know something about it. I all of my dealings, you know, like when I'm on the road here. Now, on the road is 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 tough because you can't buy gasoline with gold and silver. Uh, hotel room, if it's a small mom and pop place, then and then if they uh, if if they're a little smart, a little bit, uh, they'll know. You know, hey. Any gold and silver is good for a room, and then they keep the money, you know. So, uh, but you know, it just just depends. And uh, restaurants, all of my restaurants, I've always taken gold and silver. So, uh, but like I say, not every like, there's a lot of business people, uh, restaurant owners that don't know how to use gold and silver. And uh, but like I say, uh, but the only you still have to deal with the owners, and you have to do it before. You do all this stuff, you know, before you you, you eat, before you, you, you they give their services, then you that's when you uh, discuss uh, the gold and silver. And this is why I have so many different kinds of gold and silver. Um, uh, and some of it, I, I like coins, and uh, it's easier because you can... You know, a pocket full of coins. You can get a lot of stuff done with a pocket full of coins, and uh, but uh, that's why I use coins. They they're easier to carry. They're easier to you know put somewhere. And uh, but anyway, uh, this is something you need to think on. Uh, gold and silver. You need to. I'm, I'll tell you. I just bought some on my way back up when I was coming back from Tulsa. Coming back up, there's a guy there that. Uh, coin shop and I always stop by and see what he had and stuff like that and man I couldn't believe it he had a lot of stuff and um, it was cheap uh, I've been I normally buy uh, uh, I'm always buying every month I'm buying and I normally buy off of eBay uh, but I'm always looking in coin shops and stuff like that and uh, his was cheaper than eBay and the funny thing was I saw it, he had a a uh, gold coin and uh, a quarter ounce gold coin, the size of a quarter. It's a five dollar gold, uh, five dollar gold coin. Uh, it was uh, eighteen eighty seven, something like that. And I thought, wow, man, I need a, I need a quarter ounce gold. And um, uh, because, okay, that's what I would use to buy the motorcycle, things like that. A quarter ounce, half ounce, one ounce, you know. Uh, so seldom do I use. Uh, those big uh, quarter ounce, half ounce, or ounce of uh, gold, seldom do I use those. But um, 
Uh, as a matter of fact, if I had to, they would have used, I would have had to give them a lot of little dinky gold coins. And uh, the little dinky, well, you can get them one twentieth of an ounce. I, I think I got a few, but um, a lot of guy, I have a lot of one tenth ounce. And they're um, 120 to 107, or I mean 220 up to um, uh, $300, maybe even more. Uh, and so um, that's, that's why I get those. They don't cost that much. But he had a quarter ounce for 500 And I thought, oh, man, and I hate doing it. Uh, but, uh, but I say inflation is gone. And that's why I couldn't believe how cheap it was. The ones I've been seeing was five fifty up, and uh, so that's why I thought, man. So I so I went on and got that, and then uh, and I was that's it. I don't want to spend any more. And then uh, he says, oh, I got, to, I got these too. You know, he come up with some silver dollars, and I don't normally get silver dollars. The only silver dollars that I get. And I told him, you know, he brought his silver dollars. And I said, well, I don't normally get silver dollars. The only silver dollars I get are cowboy silver dollars. And he says, cowboys? And then, so then he pulled out, you know, 1882 and, uh, you know, this, this kind of stuff. And that's what it is. In the 1800s, I want silver dollars in the 1800s. And uh, because their cowboys had those. And, uh, you know, I, can, I still see them throw a dollar on the bar and say, a round of drinks for everybody, you know, you know, using that one coin. So I'm thinking, where has that coin got? And he says, well, I got some cowboy uh, silver dollars. And so he pulled them out and, and they've been running between 40 and $50. And he had those for 25. Uh, whoa. And I said, okay, I'll take all you got. The cow just, 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 just the cowboy ones. They made them up until 1921. I don't want those, the new ones. I want the, the cowboy ones. And so I bought all you had. And, uh, but uh, uh, that's the stuff you need to figure out what you like in gold and silver. And get that. Uh, you know, I have some from when Jesus was around. <laughs> you know, so, you know, I, 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 I'm just, I see these things and I think, where is it? What was it used for? You know, and all this kind of stuff, they're interesting. But anyway, just give you a little bit to think about. This is Mike, no stress Mike.com.